Hello and welcome back. This is Isidoris playing Still Life. Uh, last episode, we ended up uh, next to the police station and we are going to go and uh, see if we can uh, get a free Roman from there. Uh, you may notice I've been talking less uh, while filming this uh, game. Basically, I don't want to talk over the narrative, so I uh, most likely I will not change the way I'm playing at the moment. Um, I remember that there will be some puzzles which will be very annoying, so if I need to, I will check the walkthrough, because uh, I don't want to record me failing over an hour, <laughs> or something like that. So, although it would be quite funny, but uh, not really interesting, so I will, if I think that the puzzle will take me too long to get right, so then I will actually use the walkthrough. I made few changes uh, that hopefully might fix the prom problems I had earlier. Uh, I disabled steam overlay and uh, something else. And anti-aliasing also, because uh, apparently the anti-aliasing is the one that causes those weird uh, hair bugs. But um, anyways, hopefully those changes helped. We will see as we are diving back into the game. Okay, actually I could test right now if those changes helped. Hmm, this would be the easiest. So, does it work? Well, apparently it didn't help, but we can circumvent those problems by using the keyboard controls. Not the optimal way, but, uh, well, at least it works. Hopefully, that's those are the only problems we will face, because I would really like to play this game through. Uh, can I go there? A locked gate with a car behind it. I'm definitely not going through there. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm... What? I never figured out what that was. piece of art. Call Troco. <laughs> so Stasek is a hero. Uh, hopefully we can use that information on something. Basically I don't think you can pick up anything unless it has some meaning. So, let's talk to him. Hello again, my friend. Ah, Mr. McPherson. What brings you here this fine evening? Well, I need a favor. <laughs> I thought so. 
What can I do to help? Well, you could let Roman go. I need you to be on the level with me about the Shiner. What do you mean? Come on, Kaz. What really happened? Why do you ask? The man you arrested yesterday, is he the same man that protects Otakar's girls? Yeah, he is. Okay. I thought so. I need this man free, because I can get precious information on the case. Can you help me? Yeah, I can help you. But I'd have to ask a favor in return. I would have been insulted if you didn't ask. Well, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. What can I do to help? Well... <laughs> It's, uh, it's sort of embarrassing. You can trust me. It's about the black eye, isn't it? Yeah. The night I arrested Roman, I noticed something missing. My, uh, my medal was gone. You have a medal? Yeah, I got a medal for bravery. I saved some children from the fire that happened a couple of weeks ago. Atta boy. Congratulations. No, oh, thank you. Anyway, I noticed my medal was gone, so I went back to see Apollina. Well, Gussie, you actually read the newspaper article about the fire. Why'd you go see her? Well, I, uh... Never mind, I got you. She stole it from me. I have no idea why. Maybe she needs the money. But I need that medal back. My wife is getting suspicious about it. It's my pride and joy. And saying I forgot it at the office just won't be good enough when I go home. Please, get it back for me. I love my wife and kids. I don't want to lose them over something so stupid. Relax, my friend. I got you covered. I'll get that medal of yours. Just make sure that you can free Roman for me when I return. Thank you, my friend. I'll see you later. Right. Okay, let's go find the medal. So off we go. Oh, yeah, the park. Oh, let's talk her first. Good evening, Milena. Hello, Mr. McPherson. I'm glad to see you're feeling better. Thank you. If you don't mind me saying so, I really don't think you should be working right now. It's too dangerous. Well, I'm not working. I'm sort of keeping an eye on Apollina. If she leaves with a weirdo, I'll follow them. That's very kind of you. But how can you tell when a client is weird? Trust me, I can tell. Okay, well, I won't distract you any longer. Ada's a very lucky woman. Good evening, Miss Milena. So, nothing new from there, and Apollina. Oh, you again. Stop wasting my time. Wait a second, will you? You are truly annoying. I have information for you. It's about Roman. Interested? What is it? First of all, you're gonna have to give me the medal you stole from Stasek. Why the hell would I want to do that? So you admit it. You did steal his medal. Yes, I did. That son of a bitch didn't pay me, so yeah, I stole his precious medal. Just because he's a cop, he can hump me and leave me without paying? Hell no, not me. Even better. Okay, so, what happened? He came to see me when he finally realized that I had it. He started grabbing me and threatened to arrest me. Roman happened to be walking by, and he broke up the commotion. He ordered me to go home, so I left. Well, let me finish the story for you. He got arrested for punching Stasek in the face. Now Roman is in jail. So, what do you want from me? The medal? I need that medal. Stasek is willing to let Roman out if I get his medal back. Get it? Of course I do. Okay, listen. Everybody wins here. Roman gets out, Stasek gets his medal back, and you... And I get screwed for free. Look, I'll pay you what he owes you, okay? It's not the money. Here, just take the damn thing and get out of here. Lovely metal.
I'm always trying to go to the old chapel, I don't know why. Maybe it's the atmosphere. So... Here you are, my friend. As promised. Ah, oh, thank you. How about your end of the deal? I'll be right back. Here you are, your new friend, Mr. McPherson. Who are you? Let's just say I know your boss. He's waiting for you at his shop. I'll meet you there later. Whoa, thanks for springing me, mister. You're welcome. Well, that concludes our agreement. Thanks a lot, Cass. You're welcome. Okay, so back to the lingerie shop. What? Oh. I think that's the... Yeah, statue. Or... Whatever that is. Uh, no. No. There. So, go tell your brother it's okay if McPherson goes to see her. Okay, boss. Okay, now the birds are... Spot. Well, McPherson, looks like you held up your end of our agreement. I'm sending Roman to talk to his brother, which will conclude my end of the deal. Thank you for getting me out of there. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. And now, I've just honored my part of the bargain. You may speak with Vladana any time. I misjudged you, Kabina. No, I don't think so. I have my reasons to protect this girl. Here, before you leave, this might come in handy. Oh, the lockpicks. Thanks. Are you sure you're not a nice guy after all? No, I'm not. Now get out of here. If I remember correctly, I may be mistaken, but the uh, lockpicking part uh, could be annoying. But we will see, we will see. So, junkyard. No, no. There. The last one, of course. Please, can I enter now? Oh, really, Gus? You really had to run to the door. Hello. Come here, my friend. Okay. Please. Can't breathe. Let go of him, Peter. You're hurting him. I wanted to say thank you. You're welcome. Then just say thank you. Thank you. Again, you're welcome, my very large friend. Gustav, wait. I want to show you something. Oh, this ought to be good. Don't cross this line here. Oh, no. Not this again. He always does this with the new guys. So don't move, okay? What's going on? Hey guys, I just want to talk to the girl. He only likes raw meat. Great. Mm. Inside or outside? Inside. Let's go inside. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Anything on the outside? Well, there's some kind of box, but... 
Can I use controls inside? The crane seems to be locked. Okay. That, if I remember correctly, those... That is uh, the key to the puzzle. So numbers 1, 2, 3 have to be up and 4, 5, 6 has to be down. Okay. But where is the... Oh, oh. I think it's this one. Uh, okay. Hmm. So I have to get one, two, and three up. Four, five, six down. Hmm. Well, obviously, uh, how how does this work? Uh, if I click this, uh, well, it obviously can go only here. So. Uh, or can you actually, I have to check, can you, oh, okay, that explains quite a lot, because uh, without that, we would have a little problem. So two go straight there, I think. Uh, we have to make some room. Uh, so... Do I bring six here? Hmm. So number two, we want to move it, but how far? Okay. If I bring six here, then I can bring number one over there. Hmm. And then I think. Six there, one there, then three here, and uh, so basically, yes, let's try, let's try, let's try. So put the number two there, number six there, fine, and uh, number one there. Okay, and now if we bring number three here, we can bring number six where it should be. Yes. Uh, then what number I want to move? Three or five? Three or five. Hmm. I don't think I want to move five yet. And I need to get four down here. So I'm gonna bring three in the middle. But, 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 what then? What then? Oh, if I bring one here and four here, then I get three there. Okay, let's try that one. 
I hope you can reset this puzzle if you make mistakes. Four here. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the uh, tree on the right place. Nice. Mm, and if I move four here, now I can bring one. Or, or should I move two? Ah, uh, let's try. Let's put the number one in the middle and move. Four here. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I think I got it. Now I put the number one in the middle, number two down here. Okay, this looks fine. And number one. On the right place. Yes, yes, yes. And number two on the right place. And now I do the same for these numbers. Okay. And... Bingo! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm, I can't see anything else here, so... Let's go inside. What can we do now? This should work, yes. So, where am I? Apparently I have to move the grates, I guess. Is this the booth where I'm controlling or not? Hmm. So if I'm here there's a way Okay, should I then move this over here? I need more. Can I do anything with these? Two crates is just too heavy. I have to find a way to separate them. Okay. Mm. can't do anything at the moment with the crane. So if I'm here, I need to find something. Is there a... was the lock picking already or something like that? Uh, let's see, let's see. Anything here? No, 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 no. Can't see anything. So let's see if I got. Okay, I got the boxes on the right. So these must be on the right position. 
but can I? Yes, I can jump. But These crates are chained together. I'll need something stronger than my teeth to cut through this. Okay, I need a tool, obviously. So. Where's the tool? Am I... Oh! Is... Yeah, that, that looks like a cutter. What I learned about these old games, you have to actually... <laughs> move your mouse quite a bit and uh, hopefully find something. So let's jump here and... Are you doing something? Anything? Anything at all? Uh, These crates are chained together. I'll need something stronger than my teeth to cut through this. We have the tools. Uh, no. Wrong button. What am I? I can't... I used them. I have the tools. I think. Hmm. Anything, anything, anything. I think this is. Yeah, this is combining. Can I. These crates are chained together. Okay. I'll need something stronger than my teeth to cut through this. So he's close to... Oh... Do I need to move this box here? It's hard to actually... See if there's a gap, but there has to be a gap because... I think... He would use the cutter if it's low. So let's see. Let's see. So one up. Okay, yes. There was a cap. Now we are progressing. Jump and jump. Yes, there's your problem. here I hope we are actually trying to get there I think it's there but I'm not sure whoops Well, there's the stairs here. Yeah, I think it's there. Over there we have to go. And off we go. And jump. <laughs> here we are. 
is progress. And Hello? Hi, sweetie. Uh, am I bothering you? Not at all. I was just reading something, and I guess I really got into it. Do you want me to call you back? Really, it's okay. What's up? You don't sound too good. I called her. Oh. Samantha? Yes. I need to talk. I'll be right there. Where can I pick you up? At work. Just come down to the morgue. I still have a little work to do before we go. Okay, you take care. I'll see you soon. Bye. Okay, now if I remember correctly, of course we are going to the morgue, but I think there was something in the attic. Something more, nothing important I guess, but uh, basically something from the Gus's past. Oh. I remember it correctly. That was the dress that uh, I think it was the Milena wore, and obviously these are Gaz Gaz's clothes. So interesting, interesting. But let's move on. Easy does it. Let's see, can we talk to our dad? Hello? Hey dad. Hi sweetheart. Did you ever read any of granddad's memoirs? I've read some of them, yes. Did you find something interesting? Yes, I found his memoir from one of his cases. Oh really? Which one? It's the one in Prague. Did you ever read that one, dad? You know, sweetheart, some things are better kept buried. Dad, answer the question. No, I never read it. I asked him once about what happened in Prague, and I could tell it was a very painful memory, even though he did his best to hide it. After seeing his expression, I never wanted to know what happened there. Interesting. Did you ever ask Grandma about it? No, I didn't bother either. Like I said before, some things are better left buried. Did you know about Grandma? Yes, I did. Where are you going with this? Dad, I wasn't judging. I just wanted to know if you knew. Weren't you going somewhere? Dad, I was going to meet Claire. Ah, Agent Claire Ashby. She's one of the best in her line of work. I always love it when she's on the stand. I hope everything is okay with her. Yes, she's just having a hard time talking to her daughter. I better get going, Dad. Okay, Pumpkin. Uh, Victoria, I'm sorry... No, Dad. I'm the one who should be sorry. I shouldn't have gone there. It's okay, sweetheart. Sometimes I forget. It's your job to ask questions. I'll be back soon. Okay. Take care. Thanks for the pep talk. Uh, well, I think we're finished here, so... Time to try. Okay. Run. 
I don't think I need to go to the office. I could go and check if there's anything to be found, to be seen. Okay. No, well. Yes, I know, but that's one marathon of phone calls. Yes. Yeah. I think we don't. We're down here. So let's see what Claire has to offer. Oh no. I think it's the B two. Yes. What? Sweetie! What the hell are you doing? Me? I thought you'd... Oh my god. Go look at the security cameras. So the mysterious murderer was in here. How did she get in? Or he? Okay. There's the camera. What can we see? Okay, interesting chase scene. So what did the murderer do to the body? And how did he get inside here? Hey. Hey, are you okay? What happened? Yeah, I'm okay. I ran after him. Son of a bitch got away. Well, the important thing is that you're okay. Hey, about... Forget it. It can wait. Are you sure? Hey, Browning can wait. Really, sweetie. It's okay. Go. So, what happened on your end? I never thought my own lab would become a crime scene. The suspect left this. A photo of a young woman and wrote NEXT on the back. I need to send this to the lab for further analysis. Where was it? He put it inside her. 
He tore the stitches open just below the sternum and slipped it inside. Do the others know? Yes, I called upstairs and Todd answered. I told him what I know. He's expecting you and he didn't sound too happy. I can imagine. Okay, going upstairs to deal with Todd. Okay, I'll fix the mess down here. I'll tell you if anything turns up. So the murderer is a bit cheeky. Getting inside the morgue, leaving photograph inside the body. Most likely his next aspect. So basically playing with us. Hello? Hi, honey. Oh, hi, Richard. You left the gallery in a rush and you never called back, so I got a little worried. Is everything okay? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I'm sorry about that. It's just we found another victim and some really weird stuff is going on. Oh, God. How are you holding up? I'm very tired. And I'm in dire need of unwinding, like we did two nights ago. True, that was very relaxing. I have an idea. Come down here and I can show you the new exhibit and after we can go unwind. Very tempting, but I have to decline. Aw, oh, why? Well, I have to go get yelled at by my boss. Anyways, why are you so excited about this exhibit? I've never seen you so into your work. Oh, it's because I sort of discovered this artist. Actually, it wasn't just me. Some people from the University of Chicago's Fine Arts Department helped a little. We discovered him at an auction. He's from L.A., but originally from Chicago. His name is Mark Ackerman. The department and I purchased most of his pieces, but we're still looking for some. Anyway, we got enough to make an exhibit. Richard, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Oh, sorry. You know how I get started. <laughs> yes, I do. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, honey. You be careful now. I will. Bye. Bye. So many questions. Oh. Uh... What the hell is going on? What's this I hear about suspects yes. breaking into the morgue? Agent McPherson and Detective Miller, I want to see you both in my office, now! Yes. And while you're at it, one go. of you can get me a cup of coffee. Victoria, can you... Don't sweat it, Miller. I'll cover you. Anyways, you have the report to finish. I'll even get his damn coffee. Next on Chicago Vice, Agent McPherson gets the boss a coffee. Miller, don't make this any harder than it already is. By the way, I have some good news. Come and see me after. Can you give me a preview? It's about the data correlation. I think we might have something. You didn't tell... Uh... No, I wanted to check with you first. Okay, I'll see you after. Why it feels like that I'm being played about the... Uh intrusion while I wasn't even here yes let's take the coffee let's see Todd's cup okay and Filled with coffee. Delicious coffee. Now let's see Todd. Anything interesting here? A taser. Hey, I could use it on Todd. It might give him a personality. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Well, let's talk. Here's your coffee. Thank you. In what new way have I pissed you off this time? 
I distinctly remember asking for both you and Miller. Ugh, never mind. I just hope you haven't forgotten that he is your partner. No, I haven't. Okay. Now tell me what happened tonight. The perp entered, I assume, through the garage. Claire already filled me in. I want to know what happened outside. I pursued the perp with the 4 by 4 into the alleyway. He climbed up a fire escape to the rooftop. When I got up there, he gave me a surprise blow to the shoulder with a 2 by 4 He got away through the other fire escape. Shots fired? Yes, one. Any leads so far in the case? Besides what the next victim looks like? No, not really. We're not sure of that. Claire is running it through the database to see if we get a hit. Is that it? Because I'd like to get back to work now. Consider yourself on probation. What? Why? I've seen it before. Agents get too involved in their case and lose it. I'm losing it now? I think you're just pissed because we look like schmucks on the news. It's all about image, isn't it? No, this is about your recent behavior. I'm worried about the progress of the case and I think you need a break. This is bullshit. You're only proving my point. You know, Browning? I usually get kissed before I get fucked. <laughs> well, to be honest, that is quite odd. Uh, what recent behavior is it? Something we haven't actually seen on screen, basically. On screen, we, Victoria has been working and doing his stuff, her stuff. Anywho, anything on interesting so is everything okay not really I'm on probation and he'll probably take over the case oh crap I'm sorry it's okay been there done that and bought the t-shirt hey so what happened downstairs we think the killer broke into the morgue and left us a picture of the next victim you're kidding right I kid you not a bold SOB, I'll give him that. You should go down and take a look at the picture. Claire needs to do a few tests on it and send it off to the labs. Do you think it's safe to go down there? Sure it is. Okay, I'll go have a look. Really, Victoria? What's this big lead you were telling me about? I did what you asked. I correlated the info on victims 4 and 5. I got something, but it may be nothing. Try me. You've said that the last two victims probably knew our perp because he covered their face. Well, I got a name that's common to both victims, a Vaclav Kolar. Also, I tried linking this guy to victims one, two, and three, but no go. Okay, anything else? How did you get the name Vaclav Kolar? I read Claire's report on the fifth victim. In it, she added a picture that was found in the victim's purse. On the picture, there was the victim, a girl, and a guy. The guy reminded me of someone. He's actually one of the people I interviewed for the fourth murder. He was her tutor at the university. I went back to read my own report, and it's the same guy. I'm sure of it. Okay, nice. Any relationship between the fourth and fifth victims? As far as I can tell, they didn't know each other. But they had this guy in common. Maybe he deserves a second interview? Definitely. I'll go alone. He's seen you before, so it might make things go smoother. Make him less nervous. Okay, and I'll give Kolar a visit. I sent the address to your 4x4's Navcom. If I have the chance, I'll go interview the latest victim's friends. Maybe I can talk to the other girl on the photo. Good idea. Okay. So, uh, anything else? I really hope this Kolar checks out. It's worth a try. Anything on the desk, perhaps? Let's see. Okay, these are the, yeah, but nice. Okay. What did we? Okay, let's see. So, 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 uh, let's go and follow our lead. It was B1. 
to be or not to be. New location, campus. University of Chicago, finally. Uh. I'm thinking that I'm going to keep a little break right now and uh, this is a good place to end this recording. So, hopefully you have enjoyed this game and this playthrough. And uh, I will continue this as it's, it seems it's working quite nice. Minor bugs here and there, but hopefully we can actually play this through. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it and we will see you later. Uh, Goodbye, everybody.